Hello again! I have a very special guest, as with so many other videos, Michael, here with me today. And we are in our last two days in Korea, so we are really wrapping things up. And we are currently packing up our apartment, which is hidden from the camera. This looks nice and clean, but behind the camera is a complete disaster. We are finished teaching officially. So, how did your last day go? Well, um, my last day, it went well. It went as expected, I think. Um, it was sad, of course. Um, but taking photos and receiving notes from my students made it feel a lot easier saying goodbye. But it was still hard seeing their reaction to me going and saying goodbye to my coworkers. So it was tough, but I'm happy. It was a happy goodbye. Mm -hmm. So I also took pictures with all my classes and played games or showed movies and so basically the last week we didn't do really any English lessons because I wanted it to be memorable and fun and wanted everyone, including myself, to have a good time. I did the same thing. Um, my last week was filled with UNO. I didn't want to teach another lesson before the next teacher would come. I'm sure the students didn't want to learn another lesson, so we all played UNO, which was a lot of fun because we get to have our last memory as a lot of fun laughing together. What about you? Um, well, my last day was, I had one class and I sat in my classroom and did nothing for um, the remainder of the time that I was there. And then I had lunch and I made sure to leave my classroom 30 minutes earlier than the bus that was coming just because I knew it would take a minute to say bye to everyone. And then um, everyone was really stalling and trying to get me to stay for some reason, but I didn't know why. Because they were laminating this, which has a bunch of notes from my students. And it looks like they couldn't get a lot of people to write, but I actually only have 19 students, so they are all on there. But yeah, so they were trying to get me to wait because they weren't finished making this yet. Then I had them all in a group and I gave them all hugs and I said goodbye and then as soon as I started to walk away a few students started crying and that was really hard. I'm sad that they're sad but hey, I'm glad that um, they will have fond memories of me and that they did like me. So, Also I was very fortunate to have received a ton of letters and notes from my students like this. I have many different types like that which makes it difficult to pack. But they're very heartfelt and they're very cute. Oh my gosh. And there's a lot to them. <laughs> Lots of don't forget about me, please. Oh my gosh. Please don't go. And also, we, we got seaweed. I've been asked many times already, do you regret coming to Korea? Because Korea can be a difficult place to live in just because it's um, an Eastern country and it's the first Eastern country that I've ever been to. So it's very different in a lot of ways. People's mannerisms and um, personalities can be very different from what I'm used to. And uh, so it was something to get used to, and especially with a different alphabet and a different language, um, which I didn't really learn at all. He learned a little bit. I don't know much, but I learned how to read it at least. Yeah. And so it was quite an adjustment, but no, I don't regret it at all because I had a good opportunity to save up a few thousand dollars and pay off a few thousand dollars in loans as well as travel to the Philippines and China and Japan and we are about to go to New Zealand so we've gotten a lot of traveling done and we've gotten to travel within Korea as well and saving up and paying off and experiencing a new culture which is that was the number one thing for me. As you mentioned, we got to do so many awesome things here and see so many different things and experience so many different cultures. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think that it was a good amount of time that we spent here. One year was, I think, good enough for me at least to uh, adapt to this culture and learn from it and also experience other cultures around. So. I think that the memories I made here with my students at school, with my coworkers, and the awesome people that we met here, just incredible. I would never replace it for anything. So I really appreciate the time that I spent here. We took a lot of time to say goodbye to everyone and made sure that we saw everyone before we left. Starting two weeks ago, we had 
kind of a mock going away party because that was the main point of the party was a going away, but we've pretty much seen everyone again since then. We did have one submitted question, so I must have covered everything pretty well between videos and blog posts. So to answer his grandma Mary, one question, and to let you know that I listened until the end, can I purchase a baby powder t-shirt, soju, and pickles at a nearby convenience store? Um, you can absolutely buy soju at a convenience store. We do it very often. The baby powder t-shirts, you're gonna have to go to the department store for. Um, they don't have clothes. And I am sure that you could find pickles at the convenience store. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you can find pickles there. Okay, well thank you for watching our journey in Korea. Thank you for reading my blogs. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. I hope I covered it really well and taught you a few new things. And uh, I hope that you continue to follow our journey as we go to New Zealand in two days. Okay, see you, see you next, next time. time. Uh, that's a wrap. I know.